from. I'm talking about the entire universe, or multi-universe, their ultimate M-theory system if there is one. Whatever it is, let's just call it nature. So where did nature come from? Some people believe that science can provide a natural explanation for everything. But is there a natural explanation for the origin of nature itself? Stephen Hawking claims that our universe could come out of nothing, but he doesn't really mean nothing at all. He still admits that he needs some sort of ultimate 11 dimensional M3 system with its own fundamental laws of physics in order to produce our universe. But that hardly solves the problem, does it? Where did that M theory system come from? A recent article in the journal New Scientist states that the, that the consensus among physicists is that a creation event for the universe cannot be avoided. Nature had a beginning. It's kind of like there's a starting gun to the universe. So when it comes to the beginning of the universe, what pulled the trigger? There's a logical mistake called the circular fallacy. It occurs when you assume your conclusion in your opening premise and work from that premise to prove your conclusion. That is a circular argument and the logical fallacy. The person who believes that there is a natural explanation for the origin of nature makes the same mistake. You cannot assume the existence of natural processes in order to explain how natural processes came into existence. It is logically impossible to have a natural explanation for the origin of nature because of the circular fallacy. So logic dictates that the origin of nature must be something not natural. Perhaps that is why Stephen Hawking is quoted in that same New Science article as saying, a point of creation would be a place where science broke down. One would have to appeal to religion and the hand of God. I know what you're thinking. What caused God? But there is an answer to that too. What caused time? Time seems to be a physical property of nature. We can't assume the existence of something dependent upon time in order to explain the origin of time. That would be another circular fallacy. So logic dictates that God must be able to exist independent of time in order to bring time into existence. So when you ask what caused God, you are assuming there was a time when God did not exist, something caused God, and now he does exist. But logic requires that God if he is to create time, must be a timeless being. No cause is possible. So to summarize, the cause of nature must be either natural or supernatural. But it cannot be natural, that would be a circular fallacy. Therefore, the cause of nature must have a supernatural origin. The cause of time must be timeless. It is impossible for any timeless entity to have been caused by something. Therefore, the cause of nature must be timeless, supernatural, and uncaused.